What a disaster of a video I've got for you guys today. Truck's running. I set out for a solo camp trip and thank goodness my best friend, Mike, wanted to come camping. I hate solo trips. I packed our kayaks, I hit the road. The idea was to do a solo, relaxing trip to a wreck site I know very well. To get away, cook, and do some fishing. I got into camp around midnight, made a sandwich, straight to bed. Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> What a night. Got in late last night. This is just a wreck site that I uh, grew up at where we're gonna be hanging out. I'm supposed to meet up with my friend Mike in a couple hours here, so I only have enough time for a coffee. I brought the mattress for him, and of course, nature will always mess with you. Super nice last night. I left it out on the table and it rained. So now it's soaked. Poor Mike is gonna have a soaked mattress. I can't have that. So I'm trying to dry it out with the diesel heater before I head out. Let's make some coffee and get going. This is gonna be a nice relaxing trip. Me and my buddy, we're gonna come back to this lake, do some fishing, maybe catch something. Hope you enjoy it. I met up with Mike in a city close by and we hit the road. We were on pavement for about 20 minutes before hitting the dirt. Oh, here we go. It looks like it turns to dirt. Just air down a little bit. All right, we are airing down. We're hitting this dirt road. No obstacles or anything like that. It's pretty much a highway and some decent scenery. Come along for the ride. It's so funny. I always catch myself like just smiling when I'm doing these things. You know, it's like people. I have like, I always have my radio on, right now I'm just cruising, no radio, don't care. Is that another dam? Whoa, it's kind of crazy, it's flooding, you see that? Going over, should we pull over? Oh yeah!
And so we had some fun. I didn't film much of it because we were just enjoying our time together and Mike doesn't really like the camera very much. Although uh, I'm starting to trick him into liking it a, a little bit, I guess. But this started as a solo fishing trip and gosh darn it, it's gonna end as a solo fishing trip. I got Mike's kayak off of my truck. We're heading out. Let's do this. The next morning we woke up and it was pouring rain, so we didn't bother getting the kayaks out and we just sort of packed up and went home. And here we are, two days later. Let's go fishing. I've said it once and I'll say it one last time. I love fishing. And since the YouTube adventure started, I haven't been able to get out as much as I'd like. That has to change. Fishing also gets me to quiet, scenic places. And when the line starts to go, it's one of the best feelings in the world. Get launched. I'm gonna catch monsters today. Right? That's usually how it works. Alright, good to go. I got cameras. I really hope this works out. See the <laughs> Jeep in the background there? This area is actually got some bears here. It's super tight. So bass fishing in our area is actually like frowned upon. And uh, except for the bass fishermen. So there's not very many places where you can bass fish because it just they're just not here. Where they are, they were introduced by the government, and other places they were introduced illegally. But the hardcore bass fishermen, which I consider myself to be pretty hardcore, maybe not so much anymore, but I used to be. I uh, don't like it when you show their spots. Unlike wheeling, I think, fishing and hunting, I do think spots are supposed to be kept secret. This particular spot is very well known, so it should be okay. And there's little pockets in this area that are really good. And I refuse to tell you guys where that is. But I already see some movement. We might be lucky today. You know what? Let's just let's just throw a, a line out. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens here, boys. Got my good old trusty spinner bait here. Just see. Just give it a little go. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> we have reached our first obstacle. We gotta get over this. Let's go. Please don't tip, please don't tip, please don't tip, please don't tip. Uh oh. Mushy. I think we're gonna be okay boys after this it should be smooth sailing wait a minute how am I gonna get back in that's a later problem first boat then me okay boats done now me let's do a little side shuffle bring this side over step here not all right. No, oh, that's not gonna work. Maybe a one, two, three jump. One, two, three jump. Oh, I almost went over the other side. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. Look at all the shaft. Little baits. Oh, there's a big bass right there. That's why they were doing that. <laughs> Very cool. Maybe I'll do a flyby and spin around and try to catch him. He was a pretty big one.
you know what he doesn't want the worm you might want my big spinner bait Or not. All right, let's keep moving. came off <laughs> broke me off no <laughs> awesome that was a huge one they definitely have shop fish on boys just a little guy. Just a little guy. I'll take him though. Same thing. Deep, deep, deep. At this point, I'll take anything. Hey, problem. Tiny baby bass. Little dinkers. Thanks, buddy. At least I'm not going home skunked. <laughs> well, the GoPro that was on my head has died. And the day is uh, coming to an end. Which means this video is coming to an end. So thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you like the fishing stuff. It's always fun to get out and fish. I don't get to do it enough. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Until next time, go away, get lost, and unwind. Do some fishing.